part of my mission here being on YouTube is being able to help small business owners learn things about their business that they don't know otherwise. I want to show you how to put your business links in your profiles without paying for it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Mahoney. I'm here to show you small business tips to make your life a lot easier. So today I really want to share with you a like mind blowing thing for me is when you're sharing your links on social media, there are so many different apps you can use, but they cost a monthly fee in order to do that. I want to show you a free way that you can share your links with your audience, but not have to pay a monthly fee to do so. What I like to use, and this is eye opening. I actually saw another person do this and it was like, Whoa, why didn't I think of that? I can't believe I didn't think about that. So I've used things like Linktree, Koji. I've never used Milkshake, but I have friends who have used that or who still use that. And there's lots of different websites out there that are really awesome, like good for them. Kudos for creating it. But they cost a monthly plan to use them and to set up your links on your social media sites. I don't want to have to pay for another thing, right? So I just got rid of Koji. I got rid of, rid of Linktree a little while back because I was paying for both. It, it just turned into this thing, right? I just sign up for all these subscriptions and then I'm paying money for things that I don't even use or I don't even need. So what I'm going to show you today is I actually use my Wix website to create links that can go right on my social media and I'm not paying any fees to do that. Now granted, let me just put this in as a disclaimer. I do currently pay fees to have a Wix website because I have a website for a whole bunch of things. So I pay a monthly fee. However, if you only wanted to use your Wix if like you don't even have a Wix right now and you wanted to open one, you can still do this option for free. The only difference is there will be like a little Wix um, like bar at the top advertising Wix because you're using that platform for free. So they're going to use that same page to advertise their website. But who cares? You can still do what I'm going to show you for free. So you it may not look exactly like mine because you'll have that advertisement bar from them. However, you can still do this for free. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Okay, so something that you're going to want to do if you don't already have a Wix website is you're going to want to sign up for the free account. You just need your email. It's pretty basic. And then when you get on there, you're going to want to make a website page. Now for me, I already have this in here. So I'm just showing you my page as if it's already it's just in there, okay? Now for me, I have a website, let me show you, that has a bunch of different links here at the top, right? So I have my home, my blog, my books, my YouTube, and my shop. You do not see my links tab here because I don't want that to be part of my main website. I just want people to be able to use my links when they're on my social media sites. And so what I did was, if we go over here to the top left, see my links? When I made this page, as you can see, I have many pages here. You can manage your pages here, but when I have my links, let me just click manage page so I can show you. I have it hidden. See that little eyeball? I've made this hidden. Um, I can name it whatever I want. I can set it as my home page. There's a lot of different options here. I have a lot of different um, options here, right? But I don't want to show it on my main website because I want that to stay clean. Now, if this is your only website page, it really doesn't matter because this is the only way, this is the only reason why you're using it. So you don't really have to worry so much about the show or not show, uh, but you can just go ahead and um, do it this way if you already have a Wix website. So I'm not showing it on my regular page, but here we go. I have made all of these lovely little icons right in Canva. So yes, if you have never used Canva before, you can definitely check out some of my other videos, but I definitely show you how to make um, all kinds of things like this. But if you want a specific video showing you how to make links like this, just let me know in the comments down below and I would be happy to make a tutorial for you to show you exactly how I made these little boxes. Um, but once you make an up to upload your image to Wix, all you have to do is click on it and then see this little green linked thing. Mine's already linked. So I went ahead and linked this to my shop. I went ahead and linked my Amazon shop to my Amazon, my Amazon book to that. Um, let me just show you to here, TikTok. So see how my linked, if I click on that, it goes right to my TikTok. I just put in a web address and my TikTok. 
Okay, I just put my link right in here. So now when somebody goes to my social media, let's pop over to my Instagram. When you're on social media, you have this little option here to put in your website. If you see here, like I have Michelle Mahoney or Michelle Lisa Mahoney.com, and then I have links at the back of it. So when you click on this, now I can go right to this page and they'll see all my links. Now, typically people are on a cell phone, I'd say most of the time. And so it shows up a little bit even neater because the, the sides are cut off, but this is what the, it looks like. And again, I did it pretty much specifically for when you're on your phone. I don't really care too much if somebody comes to the website like this and they see it like that, that's fine. But if you can see here now, like if they click this one, okay, so now there's my YouTube. Um, but you get the, the point, right? Like if they click any of these buttons, then they can go ahead and go to my links that I have provided and I'm not paying extra for this. Or for me specifically, I'm not paying anything extra to use this because I already pay for Wix. But again, if you start a Wix webpage, you can just do just a webpage and you don't have to pay for it. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you to give you some insight about how you can put links on your social medias without having to pay a monthly fee to do so. Because when you have social media and you want to direct people to another place, why do you, no one wants to pay for another fee to do that. So you can easily come up with this way of doing it. And so far it's working very well for me and I love it so much. And it's very easy to just go ahead and add new ones as I need to. And ooh, it's amazing. If you wanna know how I made those little boxes to make the links, just comment down below and I can give a Canva tutorial exactly about how I did that. But if you just wanna go on Canva and work through it and figure it out, it's pretty user friendly. I can leave my Canva link down below for you as well so you can just go directly to the website, that works. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more business tips and tricks, and I'll see you in the next one.